of consciousness. Well, you ever been with somebody, you look back and say, how did I do that? You don't understand this, Bishop. You know, but I can, can we talk? <laughs> I know we can talk, all right. So anyhow, so what state of mind was she in? Got two kids that she thought it was permissible to put and cute to put that on her neck so people can see it and call her that and it's okay. Wow. That's why cosmic economics is so important because it's a tool to transform our thinking. Yes. Be ye not conformed to this world. Why do people do it? Because they see everybody else doing it. And so most people, all of us are born unique, but most people die copies. Yes. That's why you see men wearing earrings. It was, they weren't born with that. Michael Jordan started. He was the first man on television to wear an earring. But he was also the spokesperson for the reading campaign to eliminate illiteracy. Wow. But people focus on trivial things. It would be, just think about where would we be if you saw every young man walking around with earrings, walking around with a book. Mm -hmm. Okay, guess what? If you look in our community, the only place that you can go and don't find bars up to the window is the library. Because people don't break in libraries. You know what, I've never, I've never had anybody break in my car. Here's how I prevent them, and I don't have an alarm. I put books all over the seats. And they look at that, see the books? Oh, we don't want to break it there, the books. <laughs> this will stop people from breaking in your car. If you don't want people to steal your car, put cosmic economics all over the seats. And people look at that and say, oh, uh, that's knowledge and wisdom. No, let's go get another car. Ain't nothing in there. You know, we could probably find some smoke in another car. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's the new medication y'all gave me, all right? I told the bishop to give me a shot before I left. He said, oh, no, spirit, tell me you're going to be all right. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> this is yesterday you spoke to a young man and you gave a new definition to HIV. Yeah, hood infected virus. Hood infected virus. That's a mind virus we're suffering from. HIV, hood infected virus, AIDS, addiction to incarceration and death syndrome. Oh. Less brown. <laughs> to incarceration and death syndrome. Just think about it. One out of every three males today will go to jail before they're 30. And over 62% will be incarcerated who drop out of school before they're 30. Mm. Think about that. And when they do that, over 80 different professions they cannot have. They cannot get public housing. They can't become an attorney. They can't work for the federal government. They are eliminated from various professions that resign them to a life of crime or poverty. Oh, wow. And they call it street credibility because they're ignorant. Mm. Ignorant people do stupid things. Poor people are ignorant, and ignorant people are poor. Poor. This is amazing. This brings me to Cosmic Economic Principle 22. The world is either casting a spell on you or you are casting a spell on the world. Yes, and most people, 98% of people are victims of a spell because we live in a world where we told more about your limitations rather than your potential. MIT did a study. If I say to you, Bishop Bernard, you can't do that. Somebody else has to come along and say, Bishop, you can do it. Bishop, don't listen to Les, you can't do it. Listen to me, Bishop Bernard Jordan, you can do this. They have to say that 17 times to neutralize that one time. That's Wait. why the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. Whoa. So when we are prophesying to people. Yes. And on every, now, now Les, you may not know this. Mm -hmm. When we prophesy to people, <laughs> uh -huh. Prophet Kelly got it. Uh -huh. <laughs> she got it. Listen, to what you've just said. Yes. I need that documentation. When a person, we send them a prophecy from me along with at least 15 other prophets on the same CD. That changes their lives. And, and for what you're saying right now, 
Yes. When one negative thing is said, they need to say it 17 times. They got to hear yes, 17 to neutralize. Times. That one time. 17 to 1. 17 to 1. You know what? <laughs> this is, you know, I almost want to kick out some window panes right now. Yeah. Listen, th this is powerful because that means when, up, and, and the people in the chat room know what I'm talking about because that means when we are getting the prophets, they're getting that CD, they're hearing 17 different voices, 17 different tones. 17 different affirmative things that are being spoken in their life. Yes, and it's different, coming different ways that the ego cannot defend it itself against, and it goes straight from the conscious mind to the subconscious mind to the spirit, then start that person to creating a new chapter in their lives. You know what? We're going to write a book together on prophecy. Mm. Yeah. You know, because see, that type of... Because you're of bombarding them with positive. Mm -hmm. You're speaking life. And death has to get up, pack up, and run. Oh, love a shanda, la ba 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 sata. Oh, love a rio shata. Excuse me, that's me speaking in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> My heavenly language took over there. Jesus. And you know, Master Prophet, that's why when a person called me and says, you know what, I've sold the seed and suddenly everything is going haywire. And I said, the CD that the Master Prophet gave you, what did it say on that CD? And it started to tell me how the Master Prophet prophesied that they will walk in great wealth and things were going to turn around. Sometimes some of them have dates that is so critical and pivotal to their experience. I tell them, go take that CD and for the next so many days, listen to it. Every time something come up, even make a song out of it because you got to now attune to it and let the vibration vibrate with you and it will come true. And you're going through. If you come and interrupt an operation, in the middle of an operation, it looks like a murder. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh! Jesus. <laughs> Les Brown. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're dropping science in here today. Yes, I'm yeah. you. If you just be still and know it has not come to stay. Mm. It has come to pass. The seed will take you through the valley oh, of the shot. shadow of death. The seed will take you through. Yes. <laughs> you got to give it time to Germany. Oh, shut you up. got to pour the water of faith mm. and expectation <laughs> on it. Yes. You got to sprinkle some fertilizer on it, knowing that our God Sir. is real. He say, be still and know that I'm God. Mm. Oh, my God. This is, this is, you, you got me. I got a case of the can't help it's here. <laughs> uh, this is something else. Cosmic economics, you need to get today. Um, here's another principle here. The law of consciousness is the only law of expression. Yes, <laughs> it is. It's the only law. In fact, the only sin I believe that man has ever committed is a desire for something other than God. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, because sin in the Greek, hamartia, means missing the mark, and yes. we know that the mark is God. So when we're operating out of the, the law of consciousness, awareness of the presence of God in our lives, as we are in alignment with that thinking, aligning our thoughts, our words, our feelings, and our actions, that alignment creates the opening for everything that we want in our lives. And so, because we're off balance and out of alignment, as Jesus said, I and the Father are one, that came, that languaging came later on in his ministry as he began to mature. There are people who want, because we're governed by instant gratification, we think everything's gonna happen right now. You send me a seed, things will change right now. I'm gonna get money in the mailbox. Oh no, it's not that kind of party. It takes patience, it takes positive expectation, it takes action on your part, being in alignment with the thoughts, the words, the feelings, and the action, and being in the community of achievers that will create the opening for everything that you desire. I'll give you all your eyes can see. Everything that you desire, seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. You know, when you say that, uh, Les Brown, we begin to understand it's tea time, T-E-A. Thoughts, emotion, and action. Yes. That what brings about manifestation. You get the thoughts, you add the feeling to it, as Reverend Ike says, fulfillment brings fulfillment. Mm -hmm. It's something when you wrap the feeling around the thoughts. And